But what people forget is that for someone to win, someone else has to lose. It is better to win, though. Of course. Actually, speaking of winning, I have a few developments that Ruthless Digressions listeners will be thrilled to hear about. Oh. Care to share with those listeners or your co-host? Like I told my niece at Survivor Series. Patience, Robin. Patience. So, I know I didn't exactly get the best start, but I've got my head on straight now and I'm ready to go. That's great to hear. What do you have for me tonight? Now, here's something that's less great to hear. WWE management thinks that after everything that's happened, we should take a beat before we put the spotlight back on you. Don't worry, I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. But I need to redeem myself and show the WWE Universe what I can really do. I need at least a little spotlight. I think you might have to settle for no spotlight. Backstage sentiment on you is not good right now. You may be a SmackDown superstar, but you've got an uphill battle if you actually want to be on the show. So my match tonight is... Non-existent. Ah, what can I do? I don't want to just sit in catering. No one does, but this will all blow over. My advice until then, find some way to make an impact. Be so good in the ring that they can't deny you. How am I supposed to do that if I can't get a match? I said I couldn't get you a match on SmackDown. There are other opportunities to wrestle. Actually, I can pull some strings and get you on main event. You'll need to find an opponent, though. Most of the roster is pretty busy with commitments on SmackDown, and I don't have time to play matchmaker. Pretty busy or pretty mad at me, from the sound of it. Yeah, I may have heard those rumblings. Although... Have you met Ava Moreno yet? She's pretty new to SmackDown, too, and also would have something to gain with a good showing on main event. We've met. I'm not sure she wants to work with me. Neither of you have to work with anyone. You just have to show up and fight each other. Get her to agree to that, and I'll set up the match. If there's some sort of beef between you two, lean into it. No one said the match had to be friendly. Well, if it isn't little Justine. I would say I'm sorry how your big debut turned out, but I don't like to lie. What do you want? What do I want? I just feel like maybe we got off on the wrong foot at Survivor Series. Tensions were high, I probably unintentionally insulted you. I just want to make amends. I bet we have more in common than you think. Needs, goals, that sort of thing. <sighs> you must really need something. I was hoping we could help each other. Molly says she can get me a match on main event if I can find an opponent. After everything you said at Survivor Series, I thought of you. Are you interested? Sure. Great. That was actually easier than I thought. Oh, but let me be clear. I want a match on main event, but not one against you. I want to make an impact here in WWE and make my matches count. It doesn't help me at all to defeat some jobber. What did you just call me? If I wasn't perfectly clear at Survivor Series, I like people who've come up the right way and paid their dues. Not nieces who get handed special treatment because of what family they're a part of. And if that wasn't enough, I certainly don't like you after you proved me right and made a mess of things. Regardless of what you think of me, I don't see how just sitting around and complaining is going to change anything. I know as well as you do that no one else in the locker room is going to help you. You want a match with me? Prove that you have what it takes when you have to work for an opportunity. Pay some dues and stop waltzing around expecting special treatment. I don't waltz. We can agree to disagree, LJ.